Hello, my name's Megan Williams. I'm a senior lecturer here in the Business School at Aberystwyth University. And today I'm going to talk to you about degrees in accounting and finance, business finance, economics and business economics. If you want to get hold of me at any stage, my email address is rww.aberystwyth.ac.uk. Now, what am I going to cover today? <clears throat> I'm going to cover things, obviously, an introduction. I'm going to talk about the degree structure, how it's designed, major pathways, and then give you some examples of where our students have gone, gone on to once they've left us here at ABBA. So how is your degree designed? Well, basically, um, the UK government dictates the content for every business school degree. There is a quality assurance programme, and basically any degree that you do in accounting and finance is fundamentally the same whether it comes from Exeter or whether it comes from Bath. Now, this is just to show you. Um, this is the equivalent of our first year, and maybe the modules are called, are called something different, but essentially we are teaching and examining in the same areas. So, Aberystwyth, Introduction to Accounting. In Bath, it's called Accounting for Managers. Here is Exeter's same name. This is Economics. We've got Principles, Management and Business. Data analytics, business data analysis and quantitative methods, or stats. So you can see slightly different module titles, but essentially the flavour and the syllabus that is taught within them is all the same. And if you go through and look at second years and third year, again, you'll tend to find the same types of modules. Could be taught in different orders, but essentially the syllabus is the same. Now, um, here at, um, within Aberystwyth, what we really pride ourselves on is being really good educators and teachers. Um, other universities and probably the Russell groups will say, well, position themselves as having eminent researchers who sometimes just literally bought in to be researchers and don't even go near any, any, any of these students. Here in ABBA, we take a lot of joy and really enjoy and engage with our students in teaching. And we actually invest very heavily as in, within the school and both the university in making sure that the outcomes in our teaching and your learning and your experience is, is one that gives you satisfaction and actually helps you um, in your future career, which is why really you've come here to do it, agree with us. Um, if you look at the uh, NSS results over the past five years in accounting and finance, we've consistently been in the top 10 um, teaching satisfaction, feedback, you know, we're always up there. It's not just one-offs. So um, what is your degree structure? What does it look like? Well, some of you may be thinking about doing a four-year where you come and do a foundation with us. The majority of you will be coming in after taking your A-levels and you'll be doing a three years with us. So year one, year two, and year three. Now, each year is governed by 120 credits. And essentially what this means is you'll be doing six subject areas with, um, in each year. And there could also be a mixture of um, core and also optional electives. Now, it all depends on what subject you're doing, about which ones you have to do and which ones you can choose to do. Most of our modules, again, are assessed by a mixture of coursework and examination. And again, it's one thing that we take time at is with our students is some students love taking exams, some students love assessed coursework. And we try to advise our students to take modules which actually suit them in the way they like being assessed. Now, year one, you just you pass, proceed, and it's there as a basis for all our sub students to build on going forwards. Year two then contributes about a third of your degree, and then this, l the last year is um, two thirds. We have what's called the cascade system, so the waiting of year two is less, and there's more waiting on the, your results in year three. So, what are the main schemes? Well, our main schemes, um, we're obviously talking about today, are accounting and finance, business finance, economics, and business economics. And within those schemes, you can also do joint honours. So you could do accounting, finance and economics. You can do accounting, finance and marketing, accounting, finance and computing. Um, economics, you can also do with politics. 
Um, you know, there are other schemes out there, but I'm just going to be looking at the main single honours schemes, which is these four today. We also have a new scheme coming on stream, which is our economics with the cl climate change. So what do we teach you in your first year? Well, um, in your first year, we have a common, what's known as a common first year. Now, this came about because we decided that our students are coming into a business school and we wanted to ensure that they have the fundamentals um, to go on with to whatever they decide to do in the future. So we took the view that all our students need to know about accounting, economics, management and business, whether you are a tourism student, a marketing student, an accounting student, an economist. We've, we firmly believe that our students need to be business savvy and you need to have these fundamentals. So at the beginning of year one, you have understanding the economy, the basics of um, economics, fundamentals of accounting, and of management and business. So any student that comes into the business school, the first semester, all our students take these three modules. Semester two of year one, again, data analytics or the statistics is core to all our students. Now this is where it's slightly different. For accounting finance students, um, and you'll be doing accounting for specialists, and then you have the choice of taking either economic theory, marketing, or tourism. If you're doing economics, you will have to do economic theory policy, and then you have to choose one of accounting, the marketing, or principles of tourism. Business finance basically has no choice. You have to do data analytics, and accounting for specialists, and the economic theory and policy. However, the other really nice thing about having the common first year is that you can change your mind about what you want to do at the end of your first year without having to repeat your first year. So for example, if you're an accounting and finance student and you chose marketing as your option, you could then change into a business and management degree at the beginning of your second year as long as you got through it successfully. Or you could choose the economics module and you could change into an economics um, degree scheme at the beginning of your second year. I again can talk, talk from experience about this because I actually came to university to do a degree in economics, then found out I was much better at accounting and at the end of my year one I changed to an accounting degree and carried on on that stream. So again what you think you think a subject is going to be like could be very different when you actually try and attempt these subjects for the first time because many of you are coming not experienced accounting or economics or management or marketing before so it's not until you actually learn more that you may decide that your passion is elsewhere but you can easily move and that's one of the real big advantages of this common first year as well as still in your second semester you see, you're still getting the more specialist elements of a degree scheme, but still keeping some flexibility. What about other modules? Well, we're very focused here on employability within the school. So one of the things that we have um, at the end of your third year, we do have an employability skill um, skills for professionals. Now, um, this is a module where you can actually go out and you're placed with a local firm and you effectively have day release. Now it's a really fantastic uh, module because one, you're building on your CV and two, you're actually going towards your degree as well. So it actually, you know, it, it ticks all the boxes that employers are looking for and what you're looking for. Um, econometrics is a module um, which you know is statistical, looks at regression. Um, people like the civil service, the ONS, love the students that come with econometrics. Um, accounting and finance is part of you know, this overall strategy. You know, these are skills that you can just land anywhere at any time. Also within the school, we have dedicated events and resources. We have an enterprise hub, which is looking at local business and how we can engage our students with that. Um, we also engage with our professional bodies. In accounting, we regularly have SEMA, ACCA, ICAW coming in to explain how they, um, what the, um, the qualification is worth, um, what it can offer, 
and also again looking at careers and future things that you can do. We also do master classes with our student, um, with ex um, graduates. So recently we've had um, people who head up HSBC coming and speaking to our students, somebody who's actually worked with Virgin, um, taking the time out often an hour, hour and a half, to say how they got into their career, um, what they, what, how they enjoy it, what they did, and then they actually take time to take questions from our students, exploring what, in, what they want to do. And very often it's a matter of what, re, what do you really enjoy? What is your passion? And that's really the underwriting factor, is the passion in an area that drives these people, not really the money. So again, if you want to explore your passion, needs leads me quite nicely, um, have a look at the different degree schemes that are offered. If you go to courses.abbott.ac.uk undergrad, they will all come up. And, you'll cut, and then you'll reach a, um, a web page like this. And in there, it will tell you about the key elements of a degree scheme. Um, it will look at student satisfaction, and there's a whole load of other useful links there. Where, and the information is, come, is coming from a third party, not just from us. So have a look, and it tells you an awful lot. Now, what I need to do now is talk to you about the actual degree schemes. Um, so now I'm going to look at a very stylistic um, screen here, accounting and finance. Now, those of you that have done accounting and finance will recognise a balance sheet here. And this is one of the fundamental areas of financial accounting and regulation that you will cover throughout your three, three years here. Now, why is it important? Well, it looks at the key areas of producing balance sheets, profit and loss cash flows, and it governs the statutory environment that we're currently in. Um, we also look at corporate governance and ethics through this sort of area. Management accounting, which I actually think is perhaps the more sexy inverted commas area where you're not governed by legislation. Again, you're responding to the needs of your company or organisation. Um, it could be looking at costs, it could be looking at stock valuations, pricing, um, pricing strategies. You know, some of the things here in management accounting dovetails very nicely into, ma into management and marketing. You know, it's one of the great things about the business school is that it makes you realise that Lots of these modules speak a common language. They don't just sit under a degree-specific area. Financial investments. Um, if you don't know much about finance, um, watch the film The Big Short. It introduces finance in a very entertaining and accessible way. You know, so if you haven't seen it, recommend it. Um, but what do we look at there? It looks at how to invest, dividend policy, how do you finance companies? Finally, within accounting and finance, we don't have a, a typical dissertation module. We took the view that basically most of our students go into the area of work and they don't need to be able to write a 10,000 well-researched dissertation module. What we thought was more important, the students were used to doing um, working together in teams and also being used to writing reports and be able to articulate um, recent changes and scandals and which they can then use to go for um, interviews with companies. So what do we do in this capstone module? Well, we do run a business game. The students can't choose who they want to work with and they have to run a business, business throughout a semester. At the end of it, they have to do a 20 minute presentation to the shareholders and then write a report. And part of it is reflecting and looking at their own in input and seeing what they could have done better and actually reflecting on their actual um, personalities and what they could learn from it. In the second part of the semester, we do a case study and we look again at presentation skills and report writing because most of our students will go out into the real world to write reports, and this is really important. Um, to do this, we generally get the students to look at something which is happening. Scandals that we've looked at in past years have been, um, Car Carillion is, was a great one, we've looked at Tesco's over-reporting, and currently we're looking at, uh, I've asked the students to look at two businesses. One, we're looking at um, the travel industry, which is really struggling at the moment, obviously, and we're looking at pharmaceuticals and looking at you know what's happening. We may not be quite as healthy as you think, but it's getting students to appreciate the business environment 
and how they respond to government, how they respond to marketing, and looking at everything in a more holistic way, instead of looking at all our modules in an individual basis. Um, our degree scheme also cover, um, has lots of professional exemptions um, from the professional examinations. So, for example, SEMA, um, this, you're exempt from the certificate, certificate and then you're also exempted from the Part 1 basis. Um, I, ACCA, we're exempt from all nine papers. Now, this is, these are really nice to have. Um, please don't base your decision going forwards on the amount of exemptions you get. Yes, it's a nice to have, but look for the university that's going to suit you where you want to study. Business finance um, is made up predominantly of the accounting and the finance areas, and then a mixture of business and economics. You could also do a business finance project there in your final year. But again, um, and again with the finance project, we, we encourage you to look at what's going on. Um, to look at um, the, the area of finance, how areas, um, how do companies finance themselves, what about bonds, what's happening in the markets. Um, we've also got the work placement modules where, again, and this applies all across the piece, where students can go and work in their final semester. Economics. Um, again, those of you that have done economics before recognise a very simplistic supply and demand um, graph here. And these are in here, we represent some of the modules that you can take. So macroeconomics, um, looking at exchange rate mechanisms, um, and say, getting really quite exciting now um, with the UK post-Brexit. We look at model efficiency, wage models, and no nominal price rigidity. Micro, um, looking at consumer behaviour, cognitive theory, and looking at cost and demands. Um, as I talked to you before about econometrics, um, companies like this, companies love our students to be able to analyse data and then apply it and be able to write about it. So you do, look at time series analysis and it is a challenging a module which actually though can reflect what's going on in a set of data and what is going on in the economy. History and contemporary economics, we think, is really important. You know, what can we learn from what has happened in the past? You know, we should be learning. You know, the 2008 um, financial crash, what have we learned going forwards from that? How can we take this information? How can we build on it? Um, we look at trade. We look at the WTO. You know, again, post-Brexit, this is going to have a big impact. What can we do? Trade policy, tariffs, export taxes. Again, we have researchers in this area who are actually dealing with trade policy, actually part of the negotiations. Um, some of our professors are currently engaged with the Welsh Assembly, looking at post-Brexit and still the implications of it. An area which is very um, exciting at the moment is environmental economics. Again, we've put this now as a core module in our third year. And we have one of our professors specialised in this area. You know, he's been going out to Malaysia and, and very um, interesting places. You know, looking at what is the effect of the environment? What happens when that goes? How can that be improved? And again, we have been known to use our students to go out and do research for us um, based on what is going on. Business economics is a mixture of the business where we look, they take things like the economic side, but also look at human resource and trade, and then organisational psychology, where we're looking at um, how, how do business run, what's the area of them. So again, exciting areas, if you want to find out more, go onto the website or get in contact with us. So my last thing I'm going to finish is, you know, what do our students go on to do? And so I've gone into LinkedIn, um, Josh um, graduated a few years ago. I'm now working for Aviva as an investment specialist. Um, Simon, um, accounting and finance, now working for Ernest Young, but in Mauritius, which is a nice place to be. Nearer to home, Mark um, is working with a smaller company called Dyke Yaxley. Um, 
Within um, our degree schemes, you can all go out for a year in employment. And a year in employment is where you have two years with us. You go out for a year with a firm, and then you come back afterwards. Mark actually went and worked for Dyke Yaxley in his year out, and then he went to work with them afterwards. And he's still there, um, but it's a great stepping stone year out. Takes the pressure off um, having to find a job, um, or it makes you know what you want to do looks great on your CV and also you bring back your knowledge that you've learnt um, into your actual degree scheme. My last screen, last one, um, Lucy and Sophie. Now these two actually sat next to each other in class. One is now tax manager at Grant Thornton and Sophie is actually now working out in Canada for PwC. Again Sophie actually took a year out. She worked for Disney um, and we used to have well, I think we still do. We had a speed dating careers events here at ABBA. And she met up with PwC in her speed dating um, five-minute like interview. And they were really interested in her time that she spent with Disney. And basically, they offered her a job on the basis straight away. She had to get a first-class honours degree. But they um, really liked the experience and passion that she could already bring because she had had the year out um, with, with Disney. So to recap, um, something that we really are very proud of is our world-class teaching environment. Um, we do know our students, we do know you, you're not invisible. Our degree programmes have professional and chartered outcomes. Um, Career, you know, careers is a major part of our job. We want you to do well and we want to develop you um, without your, throughout your time with us. You do have personal tutors who look after you and will keep asking you about your career. Our employability is second to none. You know, 97% against a business school average of 89. And this is from working and living in West Wales, not in the centre of Birmingham or in London. So lastly, thank you for listening to me. I wish you well, and um, whatever you do, and please don't stress about your degree choice or where you go. You'll have an excellent um, degree and experience wherever you decide. Thank you and good luck.